Hello students, welcome to this online class program. This is your chemistry lesson. Today we will talk about a grade 11 chemistry which is said to be unit 2 and this is the structure of atoms and the periodic table. Now before explaining about the structure of atoms, let us see how atoms are constructed. In early sciences like Democritus, Aristotle and the rest of chemists describe us about the structure of atoms. As you have learned in your lower grades, you have learned about what? Atoms. Students, atoms are the building block of matter or atoms are what? The smallest particle of matter. Because matter means anything that has what? Mass and occupies space. So let us see that. Let us define atoms before explaining about their structures. Now let us see atoms. Now in lower grades, especially in grade 9, you have learned about atoms. Then atoms are the smallest. These are what? The smallest. The smallest particles. The smallest particles of what? The smallest particles of matter. The smallest particle of matter. Now, in biology, you have learned about cell. Cell is a structural and functional unit of life. The same application is used for the atoms. Atoms are the smallest or the structural functional unit of what? Matter. Because matter means anything that has mass and occupies the space. So based on that assumption, in case of Democritus, Aristotle and the rest of chemists, they believed that atoms are already the smallest particle of what? Matter. Or in other words, we can also define atoms are the building. They are what? The building blocks. The building block of what? Block of matter. That means, that means, Atoms are simply composed of what? Small particles. And that small particle is said to be what? Atoms. Now, if atoms are simply the building block of matter, what do you think about the cell? Cell is a structural and functional unit of life. This means cell is developed into a tissue, tissue, organ, and then so on. The same application is there when atoms is simply the building block of matter. After explaining this one, Atoms is simply identified based on what? Based on the different tweries. Let us see tweries of atoms, or which is said to be what? Atomic tweries. Why? Because when you think about, sorry, when you think about atomic tweries, we can easily explain about what? About their structures. Atomic tweries of atomic tweries of what? The structure of atoms. Now, in the case of atomic theories, we do have two types of theories. And these were what? These were Dalton's atomic theory, Dalton's atomic theory, and modern atomic theories. As you have learned in grade 9, you have learned about the postulates or ideas of what? Dalton's. Ideas of Dalton's. Why we were talking about atomic theories? In grade 11, the structure of atoms is simply composed of what? A small tiny particles called electrons, protons, and neutrons. Having this in your mind, let us see the first theory. By the way, students, theory means simply giving analysis about, giving analysis about what? The idea of atoms and that idea must be proved or what? Disproved by an experiment. This is said to be theory. Now, if atoms are simply the building block of matter, means matter is composed of a small particles and that small particle is called atoms. Based on the, the theories of, or based on atomic theories, that means based on Dalton's and modern atomic theory, atoms are simply expressed like this. Let us see the first theory called what? Dalton's atomic theory. Dalton's, Dalton's atomic theory. Dalton's atomic theory. Now, according to Dalton, according to Dalton, Dalton's before giving any analysis or any ideas about atoms, 
He proposed that the three laws, students, do you remember that the laws of deltas? It, he proposed the three laws. The first law was what? The law of conservation of mass and energy. The second one was what? Simply the, de, the law of definite proportion. And the last one is the law of multiple proportion. Now, Dalton's, before giving any analysis about atoms, he proposed the three laws. What are the laws there? In other cases, in other cases, Dalton's, Dalton's, before, before giving, look this one, giving any analysis, analysis about, about atoms, about atoms, he proposed, he proposed the three laws, the three laws, and these are, these are, the first one is simply what? The law of conservation of mass and energy. What do you mean this? The law of conservation, the law of conservation of mass and energy. Wow. Dalton is the father of chemistry. Why? Because he explained about what? The structure and also what? Some of the periodic tables that can be expressed in this structure. Now, based on that, Dalton, before giving any ideas about atoms, he proposed the three laws. And the laws are said to be the law of conservation of mass and energy. As you have learned in Lower Grace, especially in Grade 9, what do you think, or what it stated that? The law of conservation of mass and energy stated that simply the mass and energy of atoms are neither created nor destroyed. This means during any type of chemical reactions, during any type of chemical reactions, the mass of a species neither created nor destroyed. This means the mass of the reactant and the mass of the product is equal because its analysis is depend on what? Mass and energy of atoms are neither created nor destroyed. Therefore, it is stated that it is stated that it stated that means the law of conservation of mass and energy stated that stated that the mass what? The mass and energy of atoms because we are talking about atoms the mass and energy of atoms are neither created neither created nor destroyed nor destroyed nor what destroyed what do you mean that as you have learned in physics energy cannot energy is neither created nor what destroyed but it can be changed from one form of energy to another form having thus in your mind what it is stated that the law of conservation of mass and energy implies that we are talking about atoms atoms need a reaction in order to be stable therefore when atoms simply reacted with another species in this case they have the ability to lose or what gain electrons based on that assumption during any type of chemical reaction their mass and energy cannot be created or destroyed. Based on that assumption, let us see how this theory or how these laws simply form it or what? Expressed in the form of reaction. Let us see, for example, for example, let us see or let us consider the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Let us see, for example, the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. That means when hydrogen is reacted with oxygen, they have the ability to form what? Water. Now, let us balance the reaction. In this case, our aim is to identify that the law of conservation of mass and energy. Now, when hydrogen is burned or reacted with oxygen, the mass of the reactant and the mass of the product must be equal. Why? In the very beginning, we have said that mass and energy of atoms are neither created nor destroyed. In, that, in, the, in this case, here we have, as you have learned, how many hydrogen atoms we have here? 2 times 2, 4 hydrogen, 
times the molar mass of hydrogen is one and then it becomes four. Now when it comes to that oxygen that we have two types of two moles of oxygen or what? Two oxygen in the reaction then times the mass of oxygen was what? 16 and then it becomes what? 36, 30, 32. Now the sum of the, re the sum of the masses of the reactant which is 4 plus 32 is what? 36 gram of what? Reactant. Now, in the case of the law of conservation of mass and energy, a very 36 gram of reactant, there must be 36 gram of a product. Unless otherwise, this law is not working. Now, here it is. In the case of the product, we do have two types of molecules or two types of atoms. In this case, here it is hydrogen and what? Oxygen. But how many hydrogen atoms we have in this product? Two times two, four hydrogen times the molar mass is what? One, which is four. And how many oxygen atoms we have? Two oxygen times the molar mass is what? Sixteen, and it becomes thirty-two. Then the sum of the masses in the product is, is thirty-six gram. Let us consider here. If there is thirty-six gram of reactant. And there, which is equal to 36 gram of products. Students, now this law simply work. Why? Because the mass of reactant and the mass of the product are equal means mass is neither created nor what? Destroyed. This is a way to identify this law. In the case of says, we were talking about students, we were talking about Dalton's atomic theory. In the case of Dalton's, before giving postulates or ideas of atoms, he I explained these three laws. These laws are very important to identify, to identify the ideas or the postulate. And the postulates of atoms in the case of Dalton's are concentrated on the three laws. So based on that, we can prove that the mass of the atom are neither created nor destroyed. That means the mass of the reactant equal to what? The mass of the product. Having this in your mind, this is what? Easily identified. Chapter 2, structure of atoms in the periodic table. Bachiru Linaura Yasam no, Sala Atamuchino. Sala Atam Sinaura, touch class, especially, but Sabatanyana, Staniak Felis at Tamaru, Atamuch, Lick Hiotel Lacho Nagaruch, develop Mihonut, Wem Degmo, compose the Mihonut, Katananist and At Akal Nacho, and Nazak and At Akaluch, many Bala Lutablona Mitasavo, Atamuch Nacho, Wem Degmo, and the Mittau to look Yono Matter, Matter Mallet. Yerasu kab jeta na botali ze michil nagar hul. Look, naza botali zun na, andega na dagmo yerasa chok kab jeta Allah chow nagar uch. Kulig ze misar ruch ka atam na tablo itasaba. Ehen na andega na dagmo basafi u identify la madrag atomic theory mi bal nagar ba san sahasab deraja thakam nito. Nazi san sahasabo chust hulat thaynat theory u chendalu yasrat dana. Yama jamara Dalton susi hon. Let me tell you about modern atomic theory. Ahom, so let Dalton say now, Dalton atomic theory in the Ziala. So let Atomuch attack Allah Yehona, a hassab Kamasta to the feet, so as to her gochun, identify other regal. And as he so as to her goch, Bachel Master Dutman did now, postulate to you when ya Batabust alone, ya Dalton idea, Bukanazika so as to her goch witchy, a migalet alam honu. Lemak less slafal lega, so stun who goch proposed that the regacho. Yemejemera, the law of conservation of mass and energy maletno. Bazigi is a minimal lamalet falagono, atomuch, betting yam, the chemical reaction gize, atomuch mass, when energacho, fats amo, lit afa, when badis lifatar, I chillum, belonaso. Yamaletun masala chutamaruch, ba acheru, at betting yam reaction gize. Reaction hullu yarasu manalo reactant na product allo. So let's see. And does he hug masarat? Reaction si adar guata moch. Reactant la yallo mas na product la yallo mas akuli hona. Akuli hona bet mekneat mendin no bacheru. Andanya mas ba adis mifat arna 
በአዲስ እንደገና የማይጠፋ ከሆነ ስለዚህ ማስ አይቀየርም ወይም ሁሉ ጊዜ ኮንስታንት ነው ማለት ነው ሪአክሽን ፈጠሩ አልፈጠሩ የአተሞች ማስ ፈጽሞ ሊጠፋ ወይም በአዲስ እንደገና ሊፈጠር አይችልም ባለመጥፋቱና ባለ እንደገና በአዲስ አለመምጣቱ ቀጥታ በሪአክሽን ጊዜ የሪአክታንቱ ማስና የፕሮዳክቱ ማስ እኩል ነው ይሄ ማለት ባጭሩ ማምን ማለት ነው therefore mass is what conserved የሚለውን ይነግራቸዋል mass is what conserved ማቼ during chemical reaction mass is conserved means mass is what constant but this is always workers mache biyachwal mass is conserved or constant during during any chemical reaction malat any chemical reaction ayachut eh malat mass the law of mass the conservation of mass and energy malat by reaction gize mass hulle gize constant now mekniyatum min belen tanestanal mass is neither created nor destroyed salalem malat ስለዚህ ይህ የመጀመሪያው የዳልተን የቲዮሪ ሐሳብ የቲዮሪ ሐሳብ ስለዚህ ቀጣይ ምን እና ያለ ማለት ነው ሶስት ሐሳብ አሉ ብያችኋለሁ ከነዚህ ሐሳቦች ምን አየን አሁን አንደኛውን አይተናል ሲቀጥል ሁለተኛውን ሐሳብ እንመለከታለን ወይም እና ያለ ማለት ነው we have learned about the structure of atoms including the theories that means atomic theories as you have learned here dalton atomic theory and the modern atomic theory today we have learned about what we have learned about dalton's atomic theory and also that the three laws from the three laws we have learned about what the law of conservation of mass and energy now in the case of the law of conservation of mass and energy we have seen that mass and energy of atoms are neither created nor destroyed that means the mass of the reactant and the mass of the products are equal during any chemical reaction in this case if the mass of reactant and the products are the same means mass is conserved or in other words which is constant during chemical reaction this is what all the today's topic and thank you students this according to the daltons this is all about your today's topic if you have any questions pertaining to this you can ask any question but this is all about you today next we'll talk about what the second law which is called the law of definite proportion until next week thank you very much and thank you so much bye bye students